Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. This week I had a special request from Susan for a design for a bear ornament, and she didn't have a printer, so I worked out a hack on how you can draw out the design without a printer. So what we're gonna need for this project is your tools, a black Sharpie, some acetate, or this is just a little plastic envelope from a greeting card. You could use a plastic bag if you want, and I'm going to use 18 gauge wire, but you can use any wire you want, depending if you're making it big or small. So I made up some templates for the different animals and the bear here for Susan. So what I'm going to do is I would actually just like enlarge it on my iPod to whatever size that I want or my iPad. And you can always print them out on your computer, adjust the size and all that kind of stuff as well. But if you don't have a printer, we can just stick like the plastic acetate on top and we can trace it. So this is a fun little hack. And I wouldn't have really thought to do this, but Susan said she didn't have a printer. So I'm like, what can we do? So she can have her template. So there we go. So we're just going to trace it the best we can if it's not perfect it's all right you can you know fix it up as you trace it with the wire but at least it gives you a good base design especially if you have trouble with proportions and dimensions and stuff like that so there we have the outline of the bear so now basically what you're going to do is trace the bear you're going to decide where you want to start it probably about here because i'm going to end it off in the middle and then put some beads up there so let's just go around and trace the bear as well as we can and you can always adjust it a little bit after if you have to this is just to get sort of the basic shape and then if there's some areas that have some tighter bends you can get your pliers and just bring this around down here and you can also twist the acetate around as you're going so it's easier to um, to reach because sometimes when you're it's in one position upside down it's going to be a little hard to do so we're just going to go in here and bring this around here so then we're going to twist it see how it looks compare it bring that there and then you're going to probably easiest to bring it to the front I mean you could lift it and put it to the back as well actually it probably is better to bring it to the back so let's just give it a little bend we're going to bring it to the back and bring that up here so there you have sort of like the one leg is a little bit behind here and then we're just going to go ahead and bend it where that lines up and like I said you don't have to do this line here you can just go like up down up down for the legs it's totally fine like more of a silhouette in fact if you look up the silhouettes on Google you'll see a lot of them don't have these crossover lines which is totally fine too this is just sort of the way I do it when I do a lot of my two-dimensional ones to give a little bit of depth I'll just give the idea that one of the legs is behind the other but um, that's totally optional. So bring this down, bring this one across, twisting around as we go. You could also make a template. Say you were doing a few of these and you wanted to make a template, you can definitely do that as well. But if you're making just one, it's easier not to bother with the jig because uh, it just takes time to make the jig and it's kind of easier just to do this and just trace it. And like I said, this is acetate uh, from wrapping up a greeting card. And um, if you don't have that, just a sandwich bag or anything is fine. That's just got uh, just just a clear, a clear kind of bag. So if we're going to do this one here, this one too, we're going to put it to the back a bit. This one's sort of like stepping forward a bit here. So bring that one to the back and we're just going to figure this, bring that up. It's kind of cool with the crossover lines. I just think it looks neat, like it gives it a sense of, of depth. So however you want to do it is fine. I'm going to bring that to here, bring that up here. 
and then we want to form around the face. So this one we can just push up out of the way a little bit. We're going to bring this one here, hold it in place, and bring that down here, and up a bit. That's sort of the chin thing, and sort of the muzzle. I was going to say nuzzle, but it's a muzzle, so there we go, around here and bring it around and like if it doesn't look quite right just take it lift it up adjust it it's totally fine there we go and bring that up i think my hand might have jiggled when i drew it a little bit but it's not too bad there and then we're going to form the ear up here and if it's too fine detail just pick it up and bring that around to do the ear and this way and this is going to make like a little bit of a hump in the back so the bears have that little funny little hump thing on the back I'm going to bring that back here so bring that up around the hump and then you're going to decide where you want to bend the wire up it should be somewhat centered so it won't flip to one side so say we bring this down a little bit like this is going to be here and we're going to bring this down so maybe I would do it just above that leg here so we're just going to bend this straight up okay and then we're just going to figure out how it looks and then we're just going to make a bit of a curve on the back f f uh, like kind of wiggle it around a little bit if you have to to get the shape we're going to put it back on here to get an idea for the shape you might, might want it more rounded so just go ahead with your thumb and your finger and round it out a little bit it's cute when they're a little bit chubby so maybe that has to go up a little bit and it looks like it's going to get finished like about there so we're just going to twist this around you can still adjust this a bit if you want. So if you think it needs a little more twisting, it's fine. So what I'm going to do is I, I want to put some beads there. I think it'd be really cute. So you can twist this around once or a couple of times. Depends on, you know, what you want. Maybe just once would be good. So just going to pull it back and give that a little cut. We can remove the template now and finish this end so it's not sharp. And just pinch it in a little bit if you have to. Okay, and we can still adjust the shape after we put the beads. So we're going to get that in there. So now just decide what kind of beads you want in there. Sometimes if the end's a little rough, it's good to give it a little clip. So I'm going to put a blue bead on there. And then maybe a gold bead. A pearl. You can put a little heart. For someone that loves bears could be cute and then we can put maybe another gold bead on there whatever you got is good okay so now to make the loop on the end I'll keep it re really simple this becomes like almost a little sun catcher thing you could put a lot of beads on there I do have a tutorial for some really cute sun catchers that I can link up below with different designs for the little figure at the bottom so definitely you can check that out and I'll link up where you can get the templates for my drawings as well below. I'll link that in the descriptions. Otherwise, there's copyright free artwork on the internet. You can Google and uh, get some templates as well. So if you can look up coloring pages and uh, stencils, things like that. So we're just going to adjust it. If you have to do any little other adjusting to make it more round, make it a little chubbier. And there you have your cute little bear ornament. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my wire work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry.
I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to join the mailing list, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.